where the music matters. This is 90.3 FM KEXP in Seattle, worldwide at kexp.org and the mobile apps. I'm DJ Miss Ashley, and it's my pleasure to welcome, live on KEXP, Michaela Davis.
Sky at the top of my lungs 
live on KEXP. Wow. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much for having me and my band. We're so excited to be here. Yeah. Would you like to introduce the band? Yes, I would. We've got Kean McCarthy over here on guitar and saxophone. Kurt Johnson over there on uh, pedal steel, lap steel and guitar. Or it's just pedal steel and lap steel today. And uh, Shane McCarthy on the bass. Alex Cote on drums and percussion. What a moving performance by all of you. Thank you. That was incredible. Thank you. I've seen people play the harp, but I've never seen anyone play it the way you do. That was very special. Thanks. Um, your latest album and Southern Star just came out on Friday. That's right. Congratulations. Thank you. The new album seems hopeful. I'm wondering, how, does, how do the themes in the record reflect your personal experiences? Well... I mean, it's really all of us are songwriters and we've all contributed songs to this record. So it's just, you know, a, a collection of songs that we've all written over the past 
um, five or so years and some, some even longer ago than that. But it's, it really just reflects on like our friendship and chemistry as a band and how we move forward and grow together in life. And this album just, uh, came out of, out of that companionship. Nice. I love that. Yeah. You can tell the synergy is very strong in this room between you all. So well done. Um, who are some of your biggest musical inspirations? Um, man, uh, uh, if we're talking about the harp, I suppose, obviously Alice Coltrane, Dorothy Ashby, although I, I'm classically trained and come from a line of Carlos Salcedo style, um, harp. So Carlos Salcedo is also a uh, influence of mine and his and he's a harpist a French harpist and composer and um, wrote a lot of pieces using extended technique on the harp so when you're seeing me um, like playing the harp in odd ways that that comes from from that um, and songwriting I'm honestly mostly inspired by my band I think they're all some of the best songwriters I've ever known um, and I also really love Melody's Echo Chamber. Nice. Um, she's French. Cass McCombs is one of my favorite songwriters. Uh, and Elliot Smith is one of my favorite songwriters as well. Happy birthday, Elliot. Yes. Oh, it's his birthday. Happy birthday. And it's everything's come kind of full circle for um, me because this record is uh, on Kill Rock Stars, which is mm-hmm. Elliot Smith's label, um, the label he was on. So it's it's pretty epic to be working with them. They're, they're so amazing. Yes. What was your experience like working with Bob Weir? That's pretty exciting. Yeah. Um, that kind of threw me into improvising more. When I played with Bob for the first time in 2018, it was just him, Don, and Jay, and me. So it, it felt, you know, like pretty scary to go up there and there was a lot of space for the harp so they wanted me to to stretch out and and um and solo and I didn't have too much experience soloing since I'm classically trained Mm -hmm. um besides playing in my band and you know Alex and and Kean went to school for jazz so they're well versed and um Kurt went to the Ali Akbar College of Music um and studied Indian classical music. So, and Shane just has been studying music for since he was born, pretty much. He didn't need to to go to college. Who needs it? But um, they they the band encouraged me to start improvising more in uh, live shows. So after that, I had more courage and um, incorporated that into the band. Yeah, I love it. You said in an interview that you picked up the harp as a young child because something drew you to it and it was the last instrument on a list of choices that you had? Yeah, the public school I went to um, in Rochester, New York, offered harp, which is highly unusual. Um, And that's how I found out about the instrument. They showed the kids all the string instruments you could start learning how to play the following year and harp was the last instrument they showed. And I don't quite remember that moment specifically, but my mom said that I came home from school and just said, yeah, I'm going to play the harp next year. (laughs) So I'm lucky that my parents um, have been extremely supportive throughout my whole life. Yeah, that's a beautiful instrument. What advice would you give to someone who's considering learning to play the harp? Oh, do it. Absolutely. It's not scary. (laughs) It's fun. I mean... It, anything you do sounds cool and you know it's it's a huge scary looking instrument and it is cumbersome and um, odd to move around and play and navigate playing in a rock band but um, you just gotta go for it I never imagined seeing all these pedals hooked up to a harp and the way you manipulate it it's just so cool to watch thanks yeah it's it's a, a learning process I'm still learning um but it's it's kind of uncharted territory. I mean, there are a, a handful of other amazing harpists who use pedals, um, and it's a small community, so we all kind of know each other and help each other out with you know rent, wrenching or borrowing harps here and there. Um, but I just I think it's so cool to see more harpists stepping out of that 
uh, the classical world and not setting any boundaries to this instrument because it is a solo instrument um, as well as a chamber instrument and it can do whatever it wants. Yeah, it's, I'm excited to see that too. And um, Brandy Younger is another one that I've been listening to lately. Love Brandy. Yeah, yeah. She put out an album recently. She did. Um, I I've met her a couple times, and um, she and her band are are so so great. And she she plays a lot of Alice Coltrane. Yeah. As well. Um, so, yeah, using jazz and and incorporating that into like a rock band setting too. It's just really fun to go through all the different kinds of flavors. Yeah. Maybe the two of you will do a duet someday. I would love that. <laughs> Amazing. Well, thank you so much again for coming to KEXP and visiting us here at the studios. Um, I'm just so delighted to have you here. Thank you so much for having us. It's a very special honor for all of us to be here. So thank you. Thank you, all of you. Thank you to the whole crew at KEXP behind the scenes making this session possible. And thank you for listening to KEXP and supporting KEXP making these kinds of sessions happen. Um, for more information, you can go to kexp.org. Thanks for joining us with uh, Michaela Davis live on KEXP. Thank you. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.